Good evening. It is my honor to present to you tonight the graduating class of Richmond High School 2005. They deserve all the recognition they received this evening. I will certify them to have met all the requirements of the Richmond Board of Education and the state of New Jersey with all the power and authority vested in me by the state of New Jersey. I hope you enjoy the program. Well, you'll, you'll see Crystal. Just a quick reminder, please remain seated during the processional. Stand for our national anthem in the alma mater. Be seated for the entire recessional when your seniors will go back to the high school. You can meet them there. Please respect the decorum of our great Bridgeton High School graduation ceremony. Turn off your cell phones and beepers. While we understand you take pride in your student, so do I. Please keep your clapping, cheering to a minimum so each family, each and every one of us, friends, family, can hear their graduate's name honored. And now, the Bridgeton High School Junior ROTC will be presenting the colors. Please stand. Coming down this track are some of the most intelligent and talented people that I have ever met. We walk toward bright, 
full, successful futures. And each and every one of us are capable of attaining greatness. So without further ado, it is my pleasure and a great honor to introduce to you the Bridgeton High School Class of 2005. <laughs>
culmination of our high school careers. We've been working towards this goal for the past four years and we'll be ending another chapter in our lives tonight. Next year, some of us will be going to college. Some will be joining the armed forces and others will be entering the workforce. But we'll always have the memories, not to mention a couple incriminating photos to look back on. I remember coming to Bridgeton as a freshman, not knowing half of what I know now. However, it did not take me long to learn some of life's most important lessons. Of course, I learned some math and English, but they weren't nearly as important as knowing that nothing compares to chicken patties for lunch. <laughs> also, it is not good to fall asleep during geometry midterm, and there is definitely no pool in Upper J Hall. In fact, there isn't even an Upper J Hall. Seriously though, the time I spent at Bridgeton High has been great because of the class sitting behind me. Together, we have survived bomb scares, football altercations, and those long, boring tense periods. We are now, for the most part, mature young adults, ready for anything, including the occasional sewage in the hallways. Uh. <laughs> we have lost people important to us along the way, too. But by being here tonight, we have shown just how strong and dedicated we are. Our motto is you think you know VHS 05, but you have no idea. These students have shown that they can beat the odds and are ready for whatever life throws their way. In Bridgeton, we have not only earned a high school diploma, but a degree in life. We have learned about classmates who have come all the way from Dividing Creek to Punjab, India. We are a group of diverse individuals. We have come, we have become who we are because we were not afraid to get to know each other. We are the class of 2005. Get to know us.
gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, to our graduation ceremonies for the class of 2005. You think you know BHS 2005, but you have no idea how far we've come to stand up and say, we did it. It wasn't a cakewalk entering BHS for the very first time. As a freshman, I learned to stay humble, steadfast, civil, and ethical. Now I can look back upon our high school years and remember the challenges, the victories, and the humor. It was a challenge to produce AM in the doghouse every single morning. Thank you, Mrs. O'Neill and Mr. Kevin Meeks. Our track and field team took over sports entertainment today. Thanks to all the track coaches who helped put BHS on the map. Then, there's teachers whose sense of humor added so much to our classroom discussions. Thank you, Mr. Feldman. <laughs> you think you know BHS 2005, but you have no idea what's awaiting us outside those doors. As I look back at my class, I say to myself, there's no other class I would rather be a part of than this class right behind me. You think you know BHS 2005, but you have no idea how hard we worked to reach this plateau. We won't forget about the stacks of work and the heavy books that publishers kept adding pounds to year after year. And we won't forget how difficult it was to learn to accept constructive criticism you think you know BHS 2005, but you have no idea what makes us strong. We are ready to accept challenges and go over and beyond expectations. We have the generation key that will unlock this world. I don't see Tuesday, June 21st, 2005 as a sad day I see it as a stepping stone for greater accomplishments awaiting. Last, but certainly not least, I want to thank our family and friends who believed in us, pushed us, and loved us. Class of 2005, let's all stand up and share the love. Let's give our parents a big round of applause. I wish only the best in the future for my classmates. I don't just think I know BHS 2005. I do know each and every one of them. And I have an idea that we will accomplish great things. All right. Thank you very much. You know, everyone here tonight knows that there's a connection between academics and attendance. You just can't learn if you're not there. Well, tonight, we have two graduates who are perfect examples of the dedication and commitment you need to succeed. 
with James David Pierce and Brian Rogers. Please stand up. These two graduates in an imperfect world have achieved perfection. From ninth grade until tonight, they have not missed one single day of school. You heard the graduate speakers talk about accomplishments. That is a true accomplishment. And now, we have some members of the class of 2005 who would like to make special presentations to a very special person. community. We welcome you to our graduation this evening, the ceremonies for the Bridgeton High School class of 2005. How monumental. This evening I am very honored to present to you those students who have fulfilled the requirements for graduation that have been established by our school district and the state of New Jersey. The officers for the class of 2005 are, and we would like them to stand when called, President Natasha L. Peterson, <laughs> Vice President Julia Giacoboni, <laughs> Secretary Madeline Carrasco, <laughs> Treasurer Alkamara Atkins, <laughs> Historian Amber Palmer, The valedictorian for the class of 2005 is Michelle Gaffney. The salutatorian is Sushma Patel.
We would now like to recognize those students who are graduating with specific honor status as designated by cords that are worn that you see on their gowns. We would ask that those students stand when recognized and remain standing. The audience should note that the distinguished scholars are recognized by the white cord. Please stand. Our meritorious scholars are recognized by the maroon cord. Let's go back over this again. <laughs> We're going to start from the beginning and ask those when called by their colors to please stand. The audience should note that distinguished scholars are recognized by the white cord. Our meritorious scholars are recognized by the maroon cord. Honor Society members are wearing the gold cord. Students wearing blue and gold cords are recipients of a merit award. Those wearing silver cords are graduates of the adult high school. It is with great honor that I present these students seated before you to be graduated tonight from Bridgeton High School. Graduation represents, in America, a special occasion for public high school students. Many of us will remember these students with fond memories and experiences we have had with them in the classroom, on the playing fields, and other school-related events. We are very proud of what they have accomplished. You've heard some of that tonight, and it has been tremendous. Additionally, there will be, a, be special memories of those individuals who stood out in, in some of these experiences and whose contributions to our community will stand the test of time. I can name a few myself, but I'm not going to go into that right now. We feel that these students have grown over the past four years and will be able to meet the challenges of a diverse, competitive, and at sometimes a very difficult and threatening world. These students should also be very proud of themselves and of those who have helped them to achieve their goals and who have assisted them with their needs as they have prepared for their future. We would now like to ask our graduates again, because I don't think it can be done enough, to stand and give applause to those families, friends, and others who have helped them to gain the status of time. Graduates of the class of 2004, you have achieved the recognition to receive a diploma, a diploma from Bridgeton High School. You have demonstrated through your achievements, honors, and accomplishments that you are ready to move forward in our world. The, the task ahead of you will be challenging at times, difficult. However, we in the school community believe in you. And we hope that if you take the skills and experiences that you have gained, that they will aid you in your quest to succeed in our world. As graduates, you are now part of the history and traditions of Bridgeton High School and can now call it, truly, your alma mater. In conclusion, I would like to express to all of our graduates, from all of us at BHS, that we hope that you achieve your dreams, reach your goals, and have fulfilling and productive lives. Also, that you remember those of us who were important as a part of your educational and life's growth. We ask now, as we get ready to read the names for students and close out our ceremonies, that the audience remain seated 
and to consider, as Mr. Zifo mentioned in the beginning, each parent or guardian's right to hear their student's name being called and to see him or her receiving a diploma. Now I would like to present our mayor, Mr. Michael Paroli, and Mr. John Ewing, councilman of the city of Bridgeton, who will make special presentations to the valedictorian and salutatorian. Thank you, Mr. Marshall. Graduates, congratulations, you've done wonderful things. I would like to particularly commend you graduate speakers uh, and the singers. You have done a wonderful job tonight, and I think you deserve special honor. You show a great deal of poise, very representative of this class. Good job. On behalf of myself and City Council, we'd like to congratulate the entire class of 2005. Great job. I'd like to acknowledge someone who is very special to me. Stephanie, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Michelle, I consider it such a privilege and an honor to present you with this resolution from the mayor and city council. You heard earlier this evening that Michelle was the first female Afro-American Afro valedictorian. is also the first public school student in the county of Cumberland County to go on to Harvard University. <laughs> Michelle, this is a resolution of the City Council of the City of Bristol honoring you. Whereas Michelle Gaffney has brought honor to her family, school, and community upon being designated valedictorian of the 2005 graduating class of Bristol High School. And whereas Michelle Gaffney has received many honors, including the Governor's School of Public Issues Scholar 2004, National Youth Leadership nominee, Seraptonist Student of the Month, and whereas Michelle Gaffney participated in various class activities, including the marching band, choir, and student government, and in the Cumberland County Honors Band. Now for be it resolved by the mayor and city council of the city of Bridgeton that Michelle Gaffney be accorded the congratulations of her community through this expression of great pride in her accomplishments with hope that she will realize happiness, fulfillment, and the best of everything that life has to offer. Thank you. It's my honor to present a resolution honoring your salutatorian, Sushma Patel. This is a particular pleasure to me. I've known uh, Sushma for a long time. <laughs> And I, I would suggest that you keep an eye on her. I think she's going to do great things. Whereas Sushma Patel has brought honor to her family, school, and community upon being named salutatorian. She has earned distinction being a member of student government, the news editor of the ECHO, the Honor Society, National Honor Society. She's held offices in HOSA, a great organization, by the way. Whereas Sushma has received many honors, including Seraptimus student, Bridgeton Public Schools Academic Excellence Awards and People's Choice People's Choice Awards for Honor. Now, therefore, we resolve as members of this government that we commend you upon achieving this distinction and really from the bottom of my heart, wish you best. Thank you. At this time, I would now like to present Natasha Peterson, president of the class of 2005, Mr. Todd Edwards, president of the Board of Education, 
for the City of Bridgeton and Dr. Victor Gilson, Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Gilson will address the class and will then present the class to Mr. Edwards as having met the requirements for graduation. Also, Mr. Orville Harris, Assistant Principal, will assist with diploma distribution. Mr. Edwards will present a diploma to Natasha Peterson to officially certify the class for graduation and congratulate them. Mr. Edwards. Thank you, Mr. Marshall, and on behalf of all of us, Mr. Marshall, we congratulate you and we wish you the very best. This is a beautiful day the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing, and we are glad in it. Parents, family members, friends, and anyone here tonight who has made this possible for the students behind me and to the class of 2005, congratulations. Seated before us represents hope for the future. It is a new beginning for these young people, and I do wish them the very, very best. With all the power and authority vested in me by the state of New Jersey and the Bridgeton Board of Education, Mr. Todd Edwards, president of the Bridgeton Board of Education, I certify these students have satisfied all graduation requirements of the Bridgeton Board of Education and the state of New Jersey. Mr. Todd Edwards. Natasha, on behalf of the Bristol Board of Education, I would like to present this diploma to you, representing your class, officially certifying them for graduation. Congratulations to the class of 2005. I proudly accept this diploma on behalf of the BHS class of 2005.
Watch first. Watch first. 